A glittering and meaningful occasion. And all week long, the football chatter has centred around this game and these talented teams. Which one will outwit the other in a stadium both packed and passionate? So many questions to be answered on a day of destiny. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from London here on EA TV. And good evening to you from this beautifully appointed stadium, the home of Arsenal here in North London. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal up against Newcastle United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the focal point on attack is Gabriel Jesus. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, we've got the same shape here. So today could be about which wingers are the most effective. So this should be a really good watch today. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent. So what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, he's very much a confidence player. And at the moment, his confidence must be high. Three goals in the last three games. And I think he's got every chance of scoring another one today. Oh, great defending. Joel Linton. Gordon. Bukayo Saka. White, Saka, an encouraging Arsenal move. Will he play it in? Joel Linton, Isaac. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Long stuff. Nicely timed tackle. Shielding the ball superbly. Havertz. Oh, what an opportunity! Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Gabriel Havertz Good looking sequence A fine reading of the situation Declan Rice It's with Erdogan Determined defending Fabian Scher. Longstaff. And on the ball is Scher. Anthony Gordon. Bruno Guimaraes. A fine use of the ball. Pulls it back. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Alexander Zinchenko so half time that will close the book on the first half here at the Emirates and as the second half commences both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched
Well, we can give them high marks for their passing, but can they make this pressure count? And they might forge ahead. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Well, he has to come up with a game plan. His side is struggling now. Well, Newcastle United get the ball moving again. Can they come up with a response now? Joel Linton. Here's Isaac. Guimaraes. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. Well, possibilities in the centre. And he's made headway. And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And they weren't behind for long. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Well, that picture says it all. His team are back in the game now. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Anthony Gordon. And teammates to play it to. Now the cut back. Joel Linton. And it's with Isaac. Credit to them for winning back possession. Declan Rice. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Fabian Scher. And into the last 20 minutes. Isaac. Joel Linton. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Jesus. Ben White. Cuts it back. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Long stuff. They know what they need, and that's an equaliser here. Miguel Almiron. Trippier. Isaac, this could square the game, and it has, such late excitement, and no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively.
Well, they needed that and so did he. Just look at the manager's relief there. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Trippier, and still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. Kai Havertz. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. Well, here's the replay. What a pass this is from Havertz. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. say defences are on top 3-2 well we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time three minutes to be exact long stuff it's with Joe Linton promising looking ball and defensive play to be applauded under real pressure defensively will they pay the price and now it is official, the referee brings this match to an end and it's a victory for the Gunners. Yes, Derek, well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. Well, on the final analysis, a spectacular contribution from Martin Odegaard, full of substance. Stuart, what did you make of his performance? Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.